Hello and welcome to Comp. Hello. Hello, Lucy. Hi. Welcome back, everyone. We are back on YouTube with video. This is our new format. Uh, it's taking long, you know, it's worth the wait, I think. Yeah. People, if, if you don't think so, and uh, you can go eat a bridge <laughs> or swallow a swallow something uh, you're not supposed to. Welcome back. Uh, you know, we, we were, we're so excited for this new year, this new age of comp media. Uh, we got a lot of exciting things to talk about. People have been, you know, clamoring. Uh, I've, I've been dark on X. It sounds ominous, <laughs> but, uh, I, I haven't been doing much tweeting or whatever you call it. What do you call it now? Xing? I don't want to be like the guy every now, like a lot of Musk is engineered a situation where everyone has to sound like a crotchety old man. Right. Like, well, why do I call it? I, I mean, I guess no one else is doing that. Everyone just accepts the reality. Yeah. It's really, it's not enough to just change the name. You have to do a whole rebrand. I you need have to come up with a new name for the, for the tweets. For I need, the, yeah. I need to know what it is when I retweet, they call it repost. Stupid. I need to know when I, uh, you know what it is when I when I my tweet at, at, at food celebrities hmm. and I, and, I, and I call them uh, you know pirates. I, I drunkenly I just I accuse them of I accuse them of poisoning children, <laughs> uh, and then asking them if they, you know and then try to blackmail them with just you know I don't even have I don't even Photoshop evidence. I just I just try to claim I'm a com I have in, in information. I, one day I'm gonna hit the jackpot. One of these Food Network celebrities that I accuse, I, I say, I, I know you're poisoning children. They're going to be like, oh, how much you want? <laughs> I, th I thought you were going to say that. It still wouldn't be noble. Right. I thought you were going to say they, they were going to get caught and then you'd get credit for being like the prescient. No, I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to lazily and randomly black, This is just blackmail overt people. blackmail. Yeah, yeah, but like, but very lazy. Yeah. Not even like, I mean, you could, I, I could play, play a game where I take uh, Guy Fieri's face and I put it on a guy poisoning. Uh, I mean, it's probably not a lot of pictures of guys on the internet poisoning uh, rivers or wells mm. in, uh, in, in, in the third world. But if there is one, I'll put his face on there. It's not even the same <laughs> race, you know? And I'll just be like, I'll put this out on the internet. Oh, please don't here. Have a free hot dog. I'm on my restaurants. Mm. That, that'd, be, that'd be exciting uh, for me. Uh, but I don't <laughs> that's, even do That's what you do for a free hot dog? Uh, I mean, look, I'll take what I can get is my point, but I don't even do that. I don't even try to fake, make fake evidence. Mm. I just kind of hint and hope to get the free hot dog. Right. So, and, uh, you know, I mean, look. I mean, you, at that point, you might as well just, you know. Buy the a, hot dog? Put a gun in their face and say, <laughs> give me a hot dog. I think they put a gun in my face. Yeah. So you are right. <laughs> I mean, as, as usual, you're correct, Lucy. Uh, I might as well just. Uh, I mean, is this really worth it? What am I, what am I keeping this going for? Uh, good point. Uh, if you've missed us, um, well, we're back, but just so you know, some people often go, well, when you're, when you're not here or you have your Patreon at patreon.com slash Ray comp, when you're not posting on, uh, YouTube or, or iTunes or wherever, Spotify uh, is a Patreon. The Patreon is still going. And now it's a perfect time then. Cause there's a backlog of episodes you don't know about that. We've been going the whole time. Uh, so you can go check this out for five bucks a month. You can, this is like getting like a million episodes. For nothing, five yeah. bucks. For five bucks, you could buy a, a hot dog from Guy Fieri, <laughs> or you can get like do dozens of hours. I mean, there's hundreds of hours of com content on that Patreon. If you've never subscribed, there's so much, <laughs> so much. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's, it's one, absurd. There's a lot of episodes, and the last one, Sweet Soup of Success. Oh right. If I I I mean. I mean, it's pretty great. I, it's, it's an amazing episode. So you try to invent a whole genre of food uh, <laughs> that is uh, both disgusting and disturbing. And, and, you know, look, it could, look, could sweets. I don't even want to get into this. I, I'm, I, th that's for, like, people who are used to us. I'm trying to get people on board. Right. I don't want to discuss what sweet soup is all about. That's a great point. All right. So just, just know it's out there. Uh it's part of this revamp. Maybe I'll have some graphics next time I mention the Patreon. And you go, oh, look, this here. here's a visual cue. <laughs> they can see the visual cue, but not yet. I've it's, been telling you for years our lack of visual cues are holding us back. You think, you think you're joking, though, but that, that, that is what's holding us. I mean, we need to be doing Simon Says with our I – was, I was watching a game. I have this NBA League Pass mm. uh, on, the, on the YouTube TV. Why am I doing commercials for YouTube? Um, wish we were on YouTube. This is all, it's all so incestuous. And uh, 
I was I forget what out of you know what what smaller market team it was. Maybe Indiana, maybe Oklahoma City. One of those teams. Uh, they, they, they were, you, like, usually, when you're watching a game on like national TV or whatever, or or even on like you know the New York feed, if you watch on MSG, they'll have like a halftime show. I guess they don't have one in Oklahoma City or whatever. I'm sorry to slander your state, but whatever it was. They don't have any performers there, I guess. What happened, well, you, be, you don't usually see, like when we went to games and you see like performers, like we were in New Orleans uh, over the holidays. Oh, they were great. And we saw, we went to a Pelicans game and there was a jazz band playing and it was nice. It was, it was, it was cool, but they don't show that on TV usually. They have like a halftime show. We go, they need to score more baskets. <laughs> or whatever. Or less <laughs> baskets maybe, if that's their strategy. <laughs> But in this case, they showed it, and it was just a game of Simon Says. Mm. It was just some guy who was, like, you know, puffing and puffing around with, like, he had a couple cheerleaders and hype guy and one of the players and, and a bunch of fat fans, and they were just, he was doing Simon Says. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, I feel like if we, like, we could target the people who like that. And I'm not even saying it's bad. It's just like, why are we trying to compete with like the best of the best? Let's compete with the middle. Like, you know what I mean? And I don't know. Look, I don't know what a great game of Simon Says would look like. <laughs> but like, he was not putting a lot of effort into it towards well, the end. He was, I mean, just, he he was the, just arbitrarily. Well, at, to be fair, going. he had to reteach these people the rules. A great game of anything requires people who like do it. Right. You know, like you have to, I don't. Incur- I, I would not want to be a guy who practices to play Simon Says. Mm. But I mean, that's how you get good. You'd be watching and going, you know, I, not for nothing, but these people are really good at Simon Says. Like, like no one's missed for hours. Right. You know, that's what, that's what it would be. Because it's not that complicated of a game. So you just be watching, like, it would be, it would be impressive. It'd be, honestly, it was more like a North Korean sport, in my opinion. Mm. And you'd have people just, and it would go on for days. Yeah. And it would, it would, it would not, it would be more, be more impressive if they're still standing. Right. Right. And then, like the the, the the adherence to the rules, that's just built in through years and years of a different kind of programming. We have our own thing, you know. Mm-hmm. We 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 we're, we're programmed with like you know nacho cheese and um, you know uh, Guy Fieri hot dogs or whatever. But and North Koreans have you know just more. It's more more of a brutish um, conditioning. So you know, we 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 we, we wouldn't last a day. I'd be, I'd be done at least. I, I would last two hours at most, in Simon says. Mm. So, okay, are we alienated enough people yet? Yeah. I'd be discussing Simon says for 10 <laughs> minutes as part of the new rebrand, the Cump rebrand. <laughs> Checklist Simon says, 10 minute discussion. Check. <laughs> How have you been, Lucy? I've been, I've been good. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. good. <laughs> What's, what? I'm are, excited for these, for these Epstein docs. You're excited for the Epstein docs. Yeah. This is this is yeah. People have been hitting me up on Twitter. That's why I brought up Twitter initially. People are going, "Why? Where have you been, Comp? We need you." These Epstein docs dropped. I don't know why you need me. That's a compliment. They need you. They need your. They need your analysis. My biggest analysis has been this guy's a bad guy, uh, and they probably killed him, <laughs> which I don't think I'm unique in. I mean, I I, I I'm flattered, but I don't know what insight you thought you think I'm going to add to this. But hmm. so you're saying you don't think. You don't think the official narrative is quite... Well, we have some names that we think got left off, perhaps. Mm. And we're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, but I guess first, let, let's just refresh people, I guess, on what... So what, what you, you want to discuss this Epstein thing? Um, I thought we were going to brush it under the rug. So you want to <laughs> discuss it? We'll discuss it. All right. This is the biggest names from Jeffrey Epstein's unsealed court documents. You want, you want, you want to take us through this? Sure. I don't know what this guy's this guy's doing. We don't have to watch him. He's Uh, the names of acquaintances and associates of wealthy financier Jeffrey Epstein. By the way, I I was reading a Reuters article where they referred to him as late sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. (laughs) I thought that was kind of fun. (laughs) I prefer the early the early sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. His early work, (laughs) Jesus. Um, The late sex. I mean, uh, well, I guess that's yeah. They keep calling him a financier. I mean, what did he? What is he known to have financed? Because I mean, we just refer, we, we we think of bankers and financiers now as very generic. But I mean, like J.P. Morgan was like the guy who financed um, Edison, mm. right? And like Westinghouse was he was he a financier? He he Tesla worked for Westinghouse. Point is, there was a time when like J.P. Mor- at least J.P. Morgan 
was a guy going like, "That's the guy who financed Edison," mm. right? Right. What did he? What did Epstein find? Like, what besides you know the planes and the islands? Did he like? Was he behind Slap Chop? <laughs> That That's would be a, interesting. That is a good, you know what? That's a good question. Right. Yeah. What did he finance? I mean, I look. I'm he, sure he did it. It's just, it seems like no one really cares about that anymore. No one puts the emphasis on what, what did you, what were you into? What well, was your look, gimmick? Financier does, doesn't necessarily mean you're financing things people need. Right. Right. I mean, if you, if you are just financing illegal sex for, uh, politicians and celebrities you could probably make a good living as a financier doing that no of course you could i don't yeah. think that was his day job <laughs> or his whole day job i think he probably did a few mortgages or mm-hmm. uh i don't know or he probably invested in a couple of facebook clones or maybe maybe what was it, like jdate mm. perhaps oh yeah maybe he was behind some J-Date. websites you think he went to, you only think he went to, you went to the whole web web uh, bubble and didn't invest in a single website while he was doing the other stuff. You know, he probably he might have gotten his hands in pets.com, lost a little money. You know, maybe maybe uh, what, what's another one we, you know from back then? Oh, uh, uh, what, what was the one that uh, Priceline? Priceline with yeah. William Shatner. Maybe he was the guy who suggested. He, mm. Maybe he was a star. Tra- maybe Jeffrey Epstein in his private time, his less you know uh, controversial private time was a Trekkie. <laughs> And he liked William Shatner. He said, why don't you get William Shatner to, to, to do some poetry during the Priceline.com commercials? I'm your financier. Listen to me. <laughs> and, you know, and I, I guess it shows, and if that's true, it shows that he wasn't putting all his eggs in the financier basket. Because mm. really, a, a good financier wouldn't have made such a blunder if that was what he, but we don't know. Yeah. That's, this is speculation. So let's, uh, but what, we, what we're left with is the, is the, is, is the names. Right. Right. Uh, <laughs> the names of the names of acquaintances and associates of wealthy financier Jeffrey Epstein, including that of former U.S. presidents and British royalty, were released on Wednesday evening in a set of court documents that were part of a suit against Ghislaine Maxwell in 2015. Now I'm told I've I've read that a lot of these names just because someone's in this cache of documents, mm. it doesn't mean that they're up to no they were up to no good that. These are some of these people, these names were uh, his accusers or lawyers involved in the case. Now, that could be something that, like, Prince Andrew might have said, for instance. Like, hey, not everyone named here uh, is guilty of anything. I don't know. I, right. I know when the first names I saw was uh, was um, DiCaprio. I don't know if um, I, he, does he, I mean, is he even into young people? <laughs> What would he? What would he possibly have? Isn't he famously into like older women? Yeah, no, he's a famous cougar hound. Yeah, um, but you know, who, who, what am I though? So let's take a look uh, at some of these names. I do know that like they, there's there's an accuser who accused like it was she, she accused Bill Clinton and Prince, Prince Andrews explicitly, right? And the defense tried to basically discredit her as is their job, I guess. Yeah, but it, it was kind of interesting. Like certain articles were, were just started calling her discredited accuser. Oh, <laughs> like just, they started, because they, just because they said it? Just because that's what they were trying to do. Like, Who wrote that article? That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's a very big clue. Yeah, into, the, <laughs> NBC. Oh. But yeah, I think it was Yeah, let's, it was look, let's look into that journalist person, <laughs> quote unquote. Right. <laughs> Um, anyway, go on. Let's 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 get let's stop beating around the bush, or yeah. else we'll be accused of sweeping things under. Uh, the the documents, the first in more than two hundred, that are expected to be unsealed over the next few days, are part of the defamation lawsuit filed by victim Virginia Roberts. Gruffre, Gruffre. I don't know. Let's just get to the names. We don't need to preamble. I, I feel like they make the accusers' names hard to pronounce on purpose. Can we please just get to the names. <laughs> Yeah, where are these names? Okay, names of figures that were previously associated with... This that. feels like a guy like a kid who wrote a fucking goddamn, like, book report who just didn't read the book. And he's just talking about, hey, you know, there are a lot of names in this thing. Give me your names! <laughs> where did that, what did the documents reveal? Skip down to that. We're reading too much preamble here. This is like that, that, that uh, Scorsese movie from this year. Too long. For the most part, the documents say little about the actions taken by individuals outside of Epstein. Though there is a 2016 uh, deposition from Joanna Schulberg, one of Epstein's victims, that mentions politicians and figureheads in the U.S. abroad. Well, celebrities like Bruce Willis... Who wrote this? George R. R. Martin? Get to them! <laughs> get to it! Get to names! Scroll, keep scrolling. To, King Charles III. Is that one of them? 
<laughs> oh, that's actually the king, isn't it? Okay. I, I thought it was an historical king. Well, celebrities like Bruce Willis, Cameron Diaz, Kate Blanchett, Kevin... Cameron Smith. Diaz was one with the, the kids? <laughs> that can't be. Is that true? I mean... Is that the, something about Mary? <laughs> I didn't realize that's what they meant. <laughs> that's the something? <laughs> You know, there's something about Mary. Oh, and she's like really cute and then she's kind of cool and she's dated Brett Favre. No, she went to this island. <laughs> oh. Um, Kevin Spacey, Naomi Campbell, and Leonardo DiCaprio were also mentioned in the records. They have not yet, they have not been accused of helping Epstein in any capacity. Well, it's not that they had to have helped him. Well, yeah, They right. just had to have enjoyed the fruits of his... Evil labor. Yeah. Isn't, isn't evil. That more? Right. Well, I think yeah, part I think part of the gimmick is to be fair. I don't I don't need to be too fair because I don't think DiCaprio would ever come to my aid with rhetorical uh defense. Mm. But to be fair, I think that when you're into the whole, you know, intelligence, uh um honey pot, you know, using children as sexual blackmail in a, in, a, in a milieu with intelligence services, perhaps, you know, with, with, the, with Lex Wexner and perhaps Masa. I don't, these, these, are, these are what's being accused over mm. the years. You know, uh, I think part of the thing would be to kind of create a milieu of people that like, you know, where you have different tranches of like, like maybe it's possible that certain people just came to an island and they thought it was just an island where, uh, you know, adult women were kind of exploited or, right. or, or enjoyed. Or just like exploited in the Hollywood way. Like, right. Like, yeah. yeah. There's different levels of it. And so who knows? Uh, I guess that's possible. You know, so yeah. that is like, you know, I don't, I don't think every single person, it, it'd be hard to get everyone. Who, how do you even right. figure out who's into that? Right, it's like some of these people, might, well, look, maybe having a bacchanal of any kind is a little exploitative. Right. And but, maybe the idea is that he, but, like, once he got, got a little exposed, that was part of the point, maybe. I right. don't know, I'm, I'm just purely sure. speculating. But the idea is, like, hey, you're, you're, like, we'll do this for 10 years, and then it comes out, like, there's the Epstein Island. Before he got caught, though, for real. Like, before it was a real, but there was a hint, right? Right. And then he goes to, the, you know, the DiCaprio, I guess before he did, like, you know, catch me if you can. And it's like, hey, you came to my island. Like, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Hey, you know what I'm accused of? <laughs> you want me? To... No, uh, like I mean, tax evasion. No. <laughs> anyway, if you don't want people to be, uh, you know, you better play ball. I don't know what DiCaprio gives you in that case. Maybe mm. he, maybe he introduces you to other. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, right. If, Maybe he spies. If you wanna, hey, if you want to play cat and mouse with uh, Tom Hanks again, I bet you could Caprio. I bet you the Caprio get not every world leader, but a lot of world leaders in a room. Sure. And just wear a dumb wire. <laughs> like you, 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 like he basically do the departed with the King of Jordan. <laughs> Where he's like, you know, he's just like. I mean, so I mean, it could be very useful. DiCaprio, like, there was a time when DiCaprio, because now he's a little over the hill, mm. but there was a time when he was a lot of fun for that tron that type of guy. You know, I, I bet like a lot of kings would want to hang out with DiCaprio. I oh, probably yeah. still would, or Brad Pitt, right? And I don't think Brad Pitt's involved in this, but for sure. So you know, it's like you know, hey, we're gonna tell everyone that you were on this island unless you uh, wear this, and like it's just a really <laughs> old wise. You know, it's not even a good like discreet microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those big flowers that shoots water, right. but it's got a microphone inside of it. <laughs> Something, you know, I don't know. Um, uh, anyway. Schoberg was only asked if she had Kevin met. Spacey is one of them. I mean, he's the least uh, been accused of other stuff. Right. Not just, not just, you know. It's hard for me to imagine Cameron Diaz being like, bring me a child. That's why she's so good at it. Yeah. Because she's playing against type. Sure. Kids don't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> she gets her offenses down. <laughs> Schoberg was only asked if she had met the aforementioned people, which she denied. Uh, connections to Epstein previously led high-level executives to resign from their positions, including Barclays chief executive Jess Staley, uh, Jean-Luc Brunel, a French modeling agent suspected of scouting girls for Epstein, killed himself in a Paris jail in two 2022, while awaiting trial for rape accusations. But he, like, he, do we know if he was depressed or not? Because, <laughs> like, it's, you know, I, I don't want to just slander. Yeah. Uh, you know, John, John Luke Brunel, just, cause, just because he was depressed. Right. Perhaps he just, uh, <laughs> did they give, did, 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 is it possible that he was on, like, you know, one of these Prozac or something, and then the Paris jail wouldn't give it to him? <laughs> um, 
I guess, yeah, that's always possible. Or is it possible he did everything they accused him of and he was caught? And he just, that's all. I'm just throwing, I'm just, who knows? I wonder, is like, I've never, I haven't heard of this one. Like, is, is there like a, is there any theories about Brunwell? I don't know. People think I'm an encyclopedia yeah. of this stuff. I don't, I, I'm not the guy who's been leading the charge. I mean, I thought he, when, when he, when, 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 when he died, I said, yeah, they probably, it seems like they killed him. You're gonna need to start mainlining this Epstein news. A I know it's more. very depressing. It's part I, of your reputation. I've said for years you should not be allowed to do anything with kids, yeah. even raise them. <laughs> so I don't know what people want from me. I, I think kids should be raised uh, by robots in, in Ohio in some kind of school made by LeBron James. <laughs> That's where my kids gonna be raised, mm. um, and I think everyone else. And it shouldn't cost a lot of money. What LeBron paid for? He likes paying for things in Ohio. <laughs> We just all, I mean, I, how, how do we fix the U.S. economy? We just get everyone to register as a, a poor kid in Ohio, and LeBron James will pay for everything. Yeah. That's a side note. I just want, you know, that doesn't normally fit into the course of episodes, but that, that is an idea that I have. But I'll, 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 maybe we'll flush that out later. But he likes, he, he's very good. He makes these very good schools for, like, you know, well, underprivileged well, kids. Well, to be fair, didn't they kind of, uh, didn't they not perform so well? Where that, got, oh, I didn't hear that. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> I you meant, are you sure you're referring, well, to, the, you sure you're referring to the Lakers? <laughs> maybe. I'm, maybe I'm mixing them up. No, you're confusing I, his school with Russell Westbrook yeah. and on the Lakers. No, I was like, when I first heard about those schools, I was like, that sounds that sounds great. Yeah. And I think, I don't know. Well, I mean, look. There's no, like, there's no, like actual nice idea that ever works well, out. Well, if you really want your kid to do well in school and you have the option, send him to an educator, not a basketball player. <laughs> I mean, he's doing his best. But he's not, you know, he went to college for, no, he didn't actually. He, he was like the last guy to not go to college. <laughs> Here was their mistake, right? <laughs> they, they did all the, they addressed all of the economic issues uh, beautifully. Right. They just, they just forgot to teach anything at the school. Yeah. They're they gave like, him brand new bicycles. Here's how to drill. <laughs> here's how to shoot. I mean, honestly, that would probably pay off better. Yeah, maybe. Just to go play in Europe or China or something. Sure. Honestly, we should teach our kids to play basketball. I, and this is this sounds disparaging because honestly the the league the world's basketball is is is, is moving I don't want to say ahead of America but it's going that direction the last five MVPs have been foreign born players but they might still but they're all coming here so maybe if we get we can get our kid um and we if we if we have a kid we don't have one that's not an announcement mm. but we if we do and we train him but you'll, and we tell him you'll never play in the NBA. I don't care how good you are. You're never going to. Just don't even imagine. Don't imagine that possibility. But maybe he can make like 50 grand a year in like, you know, Serbia. Because like, yeah, you know, so, well, you know, Nikola Jok, you know, uh, what's his name? Jokic is from Serbia. The current, you know, the reigning uh, finals MVP, two-time regular season MVP. That's right. And where does he play? Here. We got, there's, a, there's a spot missing over there. You really are like Wonder Years father material. <laughs> Well, what do you want me to tell him? I mean, I'm I'm not particularly tall, and you, you are. Right. Well, you're look, not. I, I, I'm not tall, but I got some tall genes in my family. We could have a we could have a giant. Well, maybe we can cut their legs off and and and, and glue them to our kids' legs, and we'll have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if they'll, if they'll consent to that, can we do some kind of like Gattaca surgery where we just like. Is that what happens? You you take a tall man's bones and you just break your child's bones? I, yeah. I'll have a doctor kid, do this. The kid just kind of uses the bones as stilts. Right. Yeah. yeah. But then, like, over time, if you, like, put glue in the middle or something, I don't know. Is there anyone who plays basketball on stilts? Like, there's there's somebody, like... No. <laughs> Wait, in the, in the NBA? Well, look, people do all kinds of crazy things oh, on stilts. Oh, like the Harlem Globetrotters? Oh, did, yeah, like, did they ever do that? I don't think so. Play basketball on stilts? Pr probably not, but, I mean, you can look it up. <sighs> but, I mean, yeah, I'm sure that someone's done it. <laughs> look, still, people on stilts, to have an aside, are always looking for attention. There's only reason to be on stilts. So I'm sure someone on stilts has tried to do that. Right. I mean, it goes hand in hand. You're taller. Everyone thinks tall is good for basketball. Sure. But I, I digress. We were talking about... The most important, you know, criminal case, perhaps of the century. <laughs> so maybe we should go back to that. Yeah. Um. Okay. I am intrigued by the stilts thing, though. I do want to see a video of a guy dunking <laughs> on stilts. 
The documents on Wednesday confirmed the scale of both Epstein's alleged sex trafficking ring and his powerful social network. Prince Andrew, the younger brother of King Charles III, was one of the names referenced in the documents mentioned by a witness for touching her breast. Wait, what, Prince Andrew? I'm pretty sure, I think this That's be, bad. But there's worse no. stuff, right? I don't want to be the, yeah. I imagine it, it just can't just be that, you know, that can't be the smoking gun. I feel like they must be like hyper focusing on certain details because there's more like corroboration or something. It does seem like, you know, it, 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 if I was Prince Andrew's lawyer, which I'm not and I never would be because, you know, I, I don't take, I, I don't do business with the queen. Mm. Um, but that being said, <laughs> uh, I might be like, look, this is, this guy is, you know, the worst sexual blackmailer and, you know, he's right next to the devil. And all you got on my guy is he touched the bre- I mean, it sounds like I'm equivocating, but I'm just saying it's like it does seem like you're focusing on Prince Andrew. You know, maybe focus on the the meat first, right? Not just trying to get the most famous people. You know what I'm trying to say here? Well, it's hard to tell what's the meat. Is the meat is the meat the biggest name that did something criminal? Well, that's what or, people. Or is the meat just e- the worst thing that happened, no matter who did it? Well, here's my that, that's what I'm saying is yeah. like, I, I feel like the second thing is worse. Right. The worst, the, you know, the, and, 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 and you it know. probably wasn't a janitor who did that, right? It was probably an, also an influential person, right? Like, I mean, like, it, does, it does seem odd that he would go all the way to an island to do that. So I mean, it's probably more. Right? Right. It just seems weird. that it's, this, is, this is like five years later, right? He's been disgraced for years. And they're still saying that. Right. I know. I, I think he didn't. I, I just like the case is it, it's, it's a shame. There should yeah. be more. There should be more information. Well, look, if you bring underage girls to an island, right, for the purposes of having Prince Charles grope them, right, it does seem pretty bad, honestly. Like it's not like it's not maybe not the worst thing your imagination would go to, but that's still like why they brought them there. No, I get it. I'm just I I'm just. Uh, yeah. yeah, I understand. You want something really dark. You want I don't want it dark. I'm just, I feel like we're, we're getting to the point where it's just, you know, I think people are, are, are getting, if you just start talking about the most famous thing, which of course is going to have the least evidence probably. Right. Because everyone's, you know, no one wants to talk about the, you know, the prince, mm. right? You get the small stuff and then you work up, he was there and then you get that and then you, and you connect it. Like Rico. Mm. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Yeah. We need like Rico. Sex Rico. Sex Rico. Yes. We need it. Sex Rico. <laughs> we, at the very least, we should make a show called that. Yeah. Where it's like a science fiction show where people actually you know get convicted for hurting children. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I'm just saying. You know, it just seems like when this Prince, Andy, like, how long is this trial going to take? Are we going to get this guy or not? Also, is my point. Also, it does get a little worse in the next paragraph. So. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Andrew was also previously accused of uh, of raping Geoffrey. Lead which, with that. Which, lead with the lead with that. <laughs> there's there's so many victims. Just like this, Andrew, don't don't have a whole paragraph where it's like, oh, he touched this, and and then late, later on go, oh, he also rapes him. Just lead with that, and then we'll move on to Kevin Spacey or whoever. <laughs> you know, uh, this seems this seems like Time Magazine is just not really prioritizing the information. Right. Well, maybe there's a reason for that. I don't even know who runs time. Mm. Is it, is it, is it a doc, what is this? <laughs> I was going to make a Doctor Who joke, but that seems dumb. Mm. That doesn't seem appropriate right now. <laughs> uh, Prince Andrew. Who about, but this is all, we knew Prince Andrew was up to no good. What else, well, like, who were the new names? Right. Um, this is why I don't well, get involved as I should. Because I have too many good ideas that no one listens to. And, then, and, 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 there's no, and no one ever gets to the new names. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like it, and now it seems like they're just reiterating like the the. Just scroll. It's probably, it's probably a very long article. Just just keep scrolling. Bill, Bill Clinton. Clinton. All right, we we've heard about him. Right, but is there new stuff about Bill Clinton? I think he was on the plane like forty times. I've heard, but I don't know. I, I, I thought he was. I, I if you ask me how many times I really guessed that, I don't know. Trump yeah. was, was apparently on the plane. Michael Jackson. Have you heard about him before? I, I might have, but that might be newer. Uh, so it was Michael Jackson. Stroberg, this is what happens when we skip that. We don't know who Stroberg is. But no, Stro- no, we do. He, she was the one who was uh, accusing Prince, An- Prince Andrew. Oh, she really, she really went through the mill. That sucks. Yeah. She, all these things are her. <laughs> that sucks. I thought there was a bunch of you know victims. Mm. Stroberg recalled meeting late musician Michael Jackson at Epstein's house in Palm Beach. 
Oh, not even on the oh, but said but said no when asked if she she had massaged him. Okay, I mean, I guess that should be in the article. Yeah, I mean, maybe he just did the mortgage. I mean, I feel like Michael Jackson had his own gimmick. <laughs> you know, he built a, he's like he's, he's like, I mean, he built an amusement park in his backyard, <laughs> and and he had the whole Jesus juice things allegedly or factually. I don't know. Right, but I mean, maybe he was like. No, I admire what you're doing, but I got my own thing over <laughs> over there in the Neverland. So, but you know, you do you. <laughs> An island ah, that seems like a lot. <laughs> I don't want your I don't want your busted fifteen year olds. <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh, you mean because they're too old for Michael Jack? Yeah. 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 And, That's sad. And, you know, too female. This gets dark. Uh, yeah. It gets very dark in this. Bill Richardson. I remember that guy. The former governor of New Mexico. Who yeah, died I remember in Bill Richardson. Bill Richardson uh, uh, all, was also met. Oh, he died? I guess so. Oh. But he was, he was accused back in the day, you know. He said in his deposition that Maxwell instructed her to give him Richardson a massage. Yeah. Lex cool. Wexner. Well, yeah. Leslie, Leslie Wexner was like the, wasn't he like the main guy behind it? Um... Right, he was one of the main guys, right? Well, he was like the connection to the Masada, I thought. Mm. He's the guy who owned Victoria's Secret and was like, you know. Wasn't he also in that movie we watched about the making of Tetris? Oh, was he? Was that, was that Maxwell? Oh, that was, that was, that, that was, that was just Lane Maxwell's dad. Oh, yeah, that's right. right. Um, Alan Dershowitz. Oh. Alan Dershowitz, Epstein's lawyer, was also mentioned in the new, newly released records. I thought... We we're gonna get look. I don't want to make light of any of this, but I thought we were gonna get some new things like Screech, <laughs> you know, or like uh, you know, um, the kid, like you know, the kid from uh, like like the, the the show with the um, Boy Meets World, the bad boyfriend, the, the bad, you know, there was there was Savage, Fred, there was Ben Fred Savage's brother, and who's his his, his bad boyfriend. <laughs> You're actually like the, these documents should operate like a Hulu reboot of like a classic show. Well, <laughs> their, their job isn't to introduce you, isn't to remind you of old stars, celebs. I didn't say it was. I just felt like they said there's going to be all these new names. I feel like all these names were there. I thought it was going to be like they were, they were they were teasing it like it was a sequel. <laughs> like it was going to be, oh, you have no idea who's in the next Expendables movie. <laughs> now we got John claude Van Damme and... Um, you know the bad guy from um, help me the bad the bad boy from from Boy Meets World. Well, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but the bad boy from Clarissa. You know exactly who he is. We we watched an episode of the show the other day because you were nostalgic for it. Who right. might think? Who might think it's Sean? Yeah. All right. That's Leave right, me Sean. hanging. I, I, sorry, I thought you were looking for the actor's name. No, I don't care. The actor. You know, I yeah. call, I called the guy Screech. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> whatever. What else we got here? Is there? Any, I mean, Alan Dur These names are all around for years. What is the new bombshell? Uh, I I mean, I I think it's just. When are you going to arrest these people? Is my point. Uh, how about how about Marvin Minsky? He's going to make the fall. He's the only one. <laughs> Marvin Minsky, computer scientist and former MIT professor. Oh, yeah. He's the only one. That, he's taking the fall for all of this. He's going to get publicly executed. Oh God, this is not. I mean, um, <laughs> all I can say is I hope he actually did it because he's the one guy who's going to get convicted. <laughs> Jeez. Is there anything more to this? Or should we try to skip to another tab here? There was another one. Uh, Prince Andrew. Oh, that, that, that was just a continuing because... Uh, Epstein had sex tapes of Prince Andrew and Bill Clinton and together? Wait, were they... Were they had sex tapes of Prince Andrew and Bill Clinton? I like, like, just like gay tapes? <laughs> That's like that's the kind of thing I was exp I was I was I was saying like they're gonna drop this. Who's the top? You think? Um, I I, I just think there's more like just mouth stuff. Mm. Just kind of a sixty nine situation. Yeah. I don't. It's just you know one's a like who who's who's more impressed like you know one guy's royalty but one guy's the actual runner like leader of a country so it's kind of like well let's just yeah. you know I mean Bill Clinton's not trying to insult the queen. How awesome would it be if that if a sex tape between those two got released? Yeah. They, oh man, you could uh, honestly great title for it. Yeah. Uh, the the special relationship. I love that. Yeah. We should somehow can we copyright that? Yeah. I love that. Unsealed documents show defense team used Sarah Ransom's claims later retracted. Oh, to show she manifestly lacks credibility. Well, she retracted the claims. 
um, at gunpoint. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we threatened her. She uh, she said she said fine. I'll retract them. And then, so I don't know why we're even talking about this. <laughs> right. <laughs> Scroll down. They go. Jeffrey Epstein's defense team sought to undermine the reliability of one of the witnesses against him. So are these trials going on still? Um, yeah, yeah. There are, I think there are continuing like lawsuits. That like, question should tell you why you don't really need me to comment on this. Because right. I don't know anything. I don't know if there's a trial. I don't know where it is. I don't know what body is it. Is it the Supreme Court of America? Is it, you know, a civil case in Nicaragua? I have no idea. Is it at the Hague? People really just imagine you every waking moment just pouring over documents. I mean, I don't know what you think my life is. I mean, if, 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 if I you, you if, if I was into this stuff, I would be grifting like everyone else is. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm going to tease you with the new info. I got Screech <laughs> on the line. He died, unfortunately. <laughs> Those who were filmed were alleged to have uh, included Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, and Sir Richard Branson, huh. who you might know from Virgin Airlines or Virgin Galactic. Or um, do you think that's you think that was a little tongue in cheek? Uh, was that the right word? No. He kept, naming, he kept naming all those things virgin. Mm, could be. Yeah. Just, uh, if I was if I was investigating billionaires, <laughs> what'd you name your company? Oh, uh, Sun Microsystem. <laughs> all right. What about you? Oh, Virgin. All right. Let's talk to you. <laughs> what are you up to? What's your company called? Uh, Blood of Innocence. <laughs> Frankly, too tight. <laughs> too tight. Too tight incorporated. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're terrible. No. Terrible people. Um, her claim. We're on the side of the angels, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we, 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 you've checked recently, right? Our clothes are dirty, but our hands are clean. <laughs> What? Should we shit ourselves? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Her claims were flagged by a firm representing Epstein's lawyer, Alan Dershowitz, to demonstrate ransom manifestly lacks credibility. The court was not given any proof of the existence of any tapes, and the allegations were retracted by ransom soon after they were initially made. Right. Um, ransom gave a victim impact statement before the sentencing of the British socialite, Ghislaine Maxwell, for sex trafficking. Uh, so she made a victim impact statement, which means like she must have been sort of credible as a victim, right? I don't know how anything I mean, works. I don't know. I, I, I didn't actually. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I almost got a paralegal associate. So that's, let me, let's let's recalibrate what I know <laughs> about the law. <laughs> the court was provided with emails in which she claimed the three were filmed by a child by the child sex offender. She also made serious accusations against former U.S. President Donald Trump. Um. I believe her. Yeah. I believe her. Yeah, I feel like there's some shenanigans going on with Sarah Ransom. What do you mean? Like she's lying? No, no. I feel like people are, I don't know. Maybe people are, yeah, like putting you know, his story. Here's the thing. I believe her. Yeah, I believe her too. Who's, who, why was she benefiting from this? <laughs> <laughs> How the hell is she benefiting? Right. What is, what is the play here? Even if you were like, oh, it's a political thing. Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, right. Prince Andrew. Yeah. It seems like a hodgepodge. Yeah. It, it doesn't. <laughs> Richard Branson. It doesn't seem like uh, someone's like you know. It's, it's it's not exactly the most uh, coherent portfolio. Right. <laughs> a U.S. judge ordered hundreds of documents to be unsealed as part of Geoffrey's uh, uh, previous. Sorry, I keep I probably mispronouncing the name. Previously settled civil claim against Maxwell which was filed in 2015. Images were also released as part of a, the latest tranche of uh, documents, including a resurfaced photo of the former labor minister, Peter Mandelson, with Epstein on his private island, Little St. James. I always forget how cute that island name is. Well, for the, <laughs> the first episode we, we come back with, we're going to you know, take it off YouTube probably. Right. <laughs> should, we, should we pivot? Look, we're reading this in time, okay? <laughs> like, That's a good point. No, but you you'll see. But they, they didn't they didn't come up with our, our corporation names. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know what's uh, this. This feels like we've gotten the end of this. Yeah. But is there another thing, Prince Andrew? Oh yeah. Article? So now it came out that the UK's the UK's biggest law, uh, you know, police force or whatever said they're not investigating. 
They, they seem to announce that, like, we're not investigating this guy. Is that usually like, something that people do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just seems like a strange thing to just promise. Hey, hey just, you know, we're, we're ignoring this. Yeah. <laughs> in case you guys, you don't get your hopes up here. <laughs> we're on the take. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, Honestly, it's weirdly honest to just be like, look, clearly, clearly we're not going to look into this too much. This is it's still a monarchy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He's the king's brother. What do you want? This thing we're gonna, I got a pension. <laughs> anyway, let's, 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 let's move on to a, a more, um, oh God, Prince Andrew. What else is going on in the news? We got uh, Jonathan Majors. That's, that's, that's a oh, lighter, a lighter yeah. topic. Kang the Conqueror. Kang the, I like Kang the Conqueror. I thought he was a lot of fun in that, in that Ant-Man movie. Yeah, he was all like, you know, hey, Paul Rudd, you know, you don't know who I am. I'm, 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 I'm a clone or whatever. There's a million Kangs. At the end, there's all these Kangs. Yeah. It's like, oh, they're going to have Kangs for 10 years. Mm. All, these, all these different versions of them. It's going to be a lot of different wearing different costumes and outfits. So what's this new Oracle? Pierce of Whitebraids here uh, shot assault verdict. <laughs> oh, no. Jonathan Majors appeared to wipe te- wipe away a tear in his first interview since being found guilty of assaulting and harassing his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. So he's out of Marvel, huh? Not to make light of this, the case. I don't know what to, I mean. I don't think he's going to be Kang the Conqueror. I think I'm pretty sure they're replacing him. Yeah. No, he's out. He's, he's, he's out. That's a lot of Kangs to have to replace. Yeah, I don't know. If there's a guy. I mean, last time like, I looked, there was a guy who uh, um, so he's not replacing him. It was Joe Coy, probably. <laughs> He did not do well. That the, the people, the Golden Globes, didn't like it. Mm. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah. I mean, who do you think should replace uh, Jonathan Majors as King the Conqueror? Mm. That's a great question. It can't be Jeffrey Epstein. I mean, that would be the the probably <laughs> if you want the worst villain to put in the MCU. Just, I mean, why not just get Jeffrey Epstein? Like, they, they, they put them digitally in, like they did with all the other people. Right. The age him. You know, they, they they made that guy Grand Moff Tarkin in Star Wars mo- Rogue One, remember? Like oh, 10 sure. years ago. They can do that now. Mm. Just get Jeffrey Epstein to be the bad guy. <laughs> that's a, Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, ah, Jesus, I don't know. Uh, Adam Driver? Can Adam Driver do it? You want the guy from Star Wars? <laughs> you want the, 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 the whiny Darth Vader? Yeah. I guess. He could be a whiny King the Conqueror. I mean... Uh, why not Rick Moranis? Oh, man. He's not busy. Yeah, what's Rick Moranis doing? He's, he was like raising his kids, but they got to be like 40 by now. Right. And then he got, he got like, during the pandemic, I think he was in New York and someone like, you know, beat him half to death uh, <laughs> on the Upper East Side or something. Wait, or Rick. Upper West Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's sad. Uh, God, this guy's life. But he's probably seems- healed. He's probably healed up. Yeah, his wife died, I think, so he had to raise the kids. Um,. And then, you know, 20 years later, a, a, like a homeless guy beat him up. <laughs> but I mean, you it's know. Like the only morally pure person in Hollywood just <laughs> keeps getting this shit kicked out. <laughs> yeah. So let's give him a break. Let's, let's give him Rick Moranis. Give him the uh, MCU uh, treatment. Honestly, that would blow people's minds <laughs> if Rick Moranis. Would I mean, would it blow. I mean, most of the people they're targeting wouldn't have any idea who he is. <laughs> Maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> That would, it would blow their minds. Peter O'Toole, would it? <laughs> it would blow the minds of people over thirty. Sir Alec Guinness. <laughs> like, yeah, I guess. I mean, <laughs> these people watched Fast and Furious at twelve, when, and Paul Walker died like halfway through them. <laughs> but yeah, no, it'll it'll be great. Could we get? Did they get the rights to Paul Walker's image in perpetuity? Could they do? <laughs> could they do AI Paul Walker and the? And with, like, it, with a spider body, yeah, that'd be nice. Mm. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe just have a guy with a spider leg. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's just, just, just the guy. But he's like, this is all his only powers. I mean, honestly, like not everything has to be like I'm gonna destroy a space time continuum. Sometimes he's be like, I'll, you know, I'll shoot my spider web at a, at a, at a some woman. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna gum up her face. She won't be able to breathe. I feel like what's going to end up happening is like they're going to recast the role, but they're going to be like, yeah, uh, we, we already kind of uh, got a head start on this, the replication CGI, uh, CGI. So, you know, all, all the other Kings are still going to have to be Jonathan Majors. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> just, just like audio dubbed. 
Um, yeah, I, what was Kang's deal? I know in the comic, I thought he was like a cyborg from the future in the comics mm. or something. Oh, yeah, I don't know anything about Kang. I, I, as far as I know, that that representation of him in Am- Ant-Man is the only one. No, yeah, he's but, a guy. He's a, he's a big, big bad in the comic. I only read one thing he was in. He mm. seemed like a... But he, he seemed like almost like a like metal man. He, he wasn't like a proud African-American looking guy. Right. He just had like a metal face, <laughs> as far as I could tell. Or maybe it was purple. Honestly, maybe this is the sign. That Marvel should slow down a little bit. <laughs> the person you were setting up to be the next Thanos or whatever. Right. Uh, maybe don't sign people a thirty year thirty year contract. Yeah. <laughs> maybe don't maybe don't maybe maybe don't plan uh fifteen movies on anybody. Right. <laughs> you know? Make a Spider Man. A Spider Man. Yeah. And then see where it goes. <laughs> You know, if Kang does well, put him in another one. You <laughs> sign people to one movie at a time. I mean, you ruin movies. It's not like they're going to go and make some other movie. Like, what are they going to do? Make The Godfather while, you know, if, if you don't sign into a contract? Right. You've ruined the landscape of, of cinema. Mm. It's over. Like, you're the only game in town. You'll get these people to, to, to be in the movie again. <laughs> they, they, they think, like, oh, if we don't sign, then they're going to negotiate. Then you replace them. Like, you did with, you know, uh, what's the guy that Don Cheadle replaced? <laughs> Uh, oh, you, the, uh, the, yeah. You ruined his career. What was <laughs> Ter- that? Terrence Howard? <laughs> uh, they, they, they actually had to do this. Meanwhile, they just ruined Terrence Howard's career when they had to. <laughs> <laughs> it's just insane. Look, the, well, here's what they really need to do to yes. get back any any kind of excited to audience. To get their groove back. To get their groove back. They need to make uh, a new... Uh, Miss Mar or what, what was it, Captain Marvel movie? Right. It was Brie Larson, where uh, just halfway through, like thirty minutes into the movie, yeah, she gets brutally beaten to death. Wow. <laughs> and then the rest of the and then the rest of the movie is is a dance party live stream. Okay, I, I'm into it. I don't know why you are. I, I'm not into it, but I do think it would. Be successful. Oh, this is your version of like selling your soul to make it in Hollywood as yeah. an executive? Yeah. You'd be like, look, I'm not proud of this, but I got an idea. <laughs> this is Lucy's idea. <laughs> We're gonna, look, I, I'm a proud woman. I, I, I actually like Brie Larson. I thought Room was a great film. Yeah. Um, oh, she was great in it. Like, well, it was a good movie. Room was a good movie. It, well, the first like four fifths of it. They got, at the end of it got a little, you know, she's crying. Like, sure. Enough. enough. You, you know, you escaped. Celebrate. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But, uh, but, you know, let, let's just make her a sacrificial lamb here. Let's just, uh, is it going to be like, uh, like kind of like Pe- Pesci and his brother in Casino? It's going to beat him with pipes? Right, yeah, it's just going to be like two guys like that, yeah. <laughs> nice, <laughs> two random guys? Yeah. They're going to bury her alive? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, who's, is there a little, oh, yeah, right, is something little, like that. Is that, a little girl Marvel also going to be beaten and she's going to be going, no, no. Well, that's a little too much. <laughs> well, it's like a scene. <laughs> Remember he's like his brother and he's like. Oh, yeah. And they watch him, they make him watch it. No, it has to be something like that. It, it, it's one of the most, honestly, that's that's one of the most disturbing. Yeah. I saw that when I was like a little bit too young to see it. Sure. At, at, at first. Um, and there's something about the Sandy Get, just, just imagining that sand going into their wounds. Something about getting beaten yeah. and bloodied, and then you know, and here's some sand. Yeah. <laughs> that's really. That's. I mean, you don't. You don't need King the Conqueror. You just need a you know a guy with a knife and a, and a band, band full of sand. <laughs> he just cuts you and throws sand at you. That's a. That's the worst thing you think of. <laughs> There's nothing worse than just dying slowly of internal bleeding while you're <laughs> while you just you just keep accidentally sucking sand into your mouth. I mean, you go to the beach. You take a shower. You still got sand on you. Yeah. I mean, not a ton. I'm not, you know, I know I wash myself. <laughs> but I mean, like, it's a, sand sticks to things. Right. Imagine having a giant arterial wound. Oh. A gaping, like, you know, just you're bleeding out. And your, your your femoral arteries just get, you, and like, there's just a bunch of sand in there. Yeah. You're Terrible. Never, never going to get it out of there. Oh, God. The doctor's going to be like, what are you, what are you, what are you, you getting mugged in the beach? Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So, um, it's called the Sandman. I mean, that's, there's, like, there's a whole thing, there's a comic called The Sandman, but I think it's about dreams or some more shit. Mm. But The Sandman should be that. Right. <laughs> I am The Sandman. Oh, what are you like, you know, you haunt people's dreams? No, I cut them open and I throw, throw sand inside them. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, we should really, I mean, honestly, who's that guy who runs the MCU? I forget his name, but he's like, you know, beloved, mm-hmm. the bald guy. Calvin Kennedy. 
No, uh, that, no, she was uh, a Sony. No. <laughs> She's not beloved. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we should we should have his job. We should. We should have a lot of jobs. <laughs> There's so many jobs we should have. I don't know why. This is, if his podcast was bigger, would, would Hollywood notice that, like... Cause we, will we be the first people recruited not to, like, act, though, but just, like, they should be running our something. Mm. Running our, our shared universes. <laughs> They, if, we, if we ran that monster universe, they, they tried. Remember with Tom Cruise mm. with the Mummy, they tried to make a whole like Marvel uh, Universal monster movie cinematic universe. Right. We could we could just made that because we just everything had been sand, <laughs> and sand and just just <laughs> sand and pussy wounds. <laughs> anyway, um, so you know, good luck to Jonathan Majors. He was good in uh, a lot of things. Yeah. I like them with Kang. Um, this is the last one. This is, I mean, I guess this is all in various levels of crime episode. Yeah. We got this Gypsy Rose uh, thing you brought up. Now, yeah, this woman, I remember seeing this girl in a, in a documentary years ago. I don't, I famously don't love true crime. But this is a uh, Gypsy Rose, there's a documentary called, was it, uh, kill you, I'll, I'll kill you, mommy dearest, or something. It was called "Mommy Dead and Dearest." Right, yeah. <laughs> Which, as a title, seems a little overwrought. It's a bit much. Because like, "Mommy Dearest" was already an ironic title. This yeah. was about a woman beating her kid. Right. It's just <laughs> we'll call it "Mommy Dead and Dearest." Right. <laughs> but uh, I get. But she went. She basically was a. It's one of those Munchausen things. Where your mom feeds you glass and then tells the doctor you got like a stomach ache, right? And I, it was it infuriates me. And the do- and the dumb doctors always believe they never they never stop to think. I would never. I would. I would accuse every mother <laughs> who came in my office of poisoning their. I don't care what kind of cancer it was. I don't care. You know, leukemia, uh, non Hodgkin's lymphoma. What would what, you feed her? <laughs> you know, I, I would. I would be sued so many times. By mothers. I mean, you, what, you, what doctors should really do is they should just throw it, ca- like, they should throw it in casually during the examination. <laughs> they should be doing, like, you know, the, the, they ask them about the kid's condition, and the mom's right. like, oh, you know, they've had a sore throat, you know, it's like she's, she's her temperature's been high, and the doctor's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and, uh, and uh, what did you poison her with? How much, how much glass did you feed her today? <laughs> yeah. And so, what did you put glass in? How many champagne flutes, <laughs> broken champagne flutes you grind up into a... <laughs> the Cheerios <laughs> daily. At least one or two of these uh, crazy, crazy fat maniacs would go. Would just go. Uh, yeah, I put it in a soup. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god! It's not in a good place. <laughs> soup is, is blended into soup. <laughs> but maybe, 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 maybe like a like a like a hard like a grape nut cereal. Right. Where it's kind of hard. It's something you chew on. Right. Everyone would notice if you put glass in their soup. Of course. Yeah. It's a glass. <laughs> you put glass in my soup. <laughs> Motherfucker. Why did you put glass in my soup? <laughs> um, but yeah, so she got that treatment from her mother, and eventually she met a nice boy on the internet who helped him her murder him, or her. Right. Oh, to murder a ni- her. <laughs> she met a nice boy on the internet who helped her mur- murder her mother. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Nicholas Godogen. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, whatever. So she, they, and they put her in jail. Which uh, I thought was weird, but you know. Yeah, and she got out recently. Right, and so she's now she's you know doing the doing the tour, I guess. <laughs> as you would, as you do. And uh, you you watch some of this? Um, yeah, I watched a little bit All of right, it. Let's, 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 why don't you take us through this? Do you miss your mom, Dee Dee? Yeah, I miss my mom. When you look back, do you think there are ways that this could have been handled differently? Absolutely, absolutely. I look at things. Um, in hindsight, and I realized that there were other options besides murder. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Um, if I remember, this, this is like a pretty brutal murder, right? They like they just like knifed her up, or what, right? I think it was. I yeah, I think it was pretty harsh. They got her like a fish. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, murder by stabbing. Right. Yeah. She got a little stabby. Mm, stabby, stabby. <laughs> Where's your broken glass? <laughs> there's, not, there's no glass here. I couldn't think of anything else to say. Uh, I mean, like, it would be great if it was just like, do you ever think that there was maybe another way to handle it? Well, you know, she uh, made me eat through a feeding tube I didn't need, so. I uh, Maybe. Right, but... yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe don't poison me. Right. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 oh, oh, that's right. She was like in on it, right? 
Um, I yeah, I mean, I think I think at some point during her childhood, she thought she was actually sick. But right, they used to like they used to do little charities, right? Yeah, like oh, save Gypsy Rose, whatever her name was. Right, it was Gypsy something or, or Ro- is it Gypsy? Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Isn't Gypsy Rose like a famous story? Isn't that the movie Gypsy? Yeah, there was like a Gypsy Rose. Yeah, Wait, and the whole thing was that she was like a fake. Well, no, she wasn't fake. I don't know. Gypsy Rose. There was like a Gypsy Rose who was a a, a fancy stripper or something. I think. I don't think that's what I'm thinking of. I'm, think, oh. I'm thinking. I'm thinking <laughs> the, the movie where they where they where where it's just like you know the mom's making her be a star or something. Oh, um, yeah. It's called Gypsy, right? Something like that. I don't know. So anyway, what 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 what, what now? So after that question, what happens? <laughs> Is, is she, she, she going to run for president? Right. <laughs> I was sheltered that I couldn't, I couldn't see them at the time. She's the face of one of the most shocking crime stories in memory. This is the house where Claudinia Blanchard was found stabbed to death. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, portrayed by her mother as a chronically ill girl, unable to walk with that signature baby voice. Well, that seems to be real. That seems to be real. Hmm. So stop. Yeah, the baby you know, voice. Don't is, make fun of her. Yeah. <laughs> the mother with that, sig- with that signature ugly face. <laughs> so come on, come on, relax. A perpetually ill girl with a signature annoying as fuck voice. <laughs> that nobody g- could stand. A perpetually abused girl who wasn't much to look at. <laughs> <laughs> like, jeez. <laughs> But it was all a lie. Her mother, Dee Dee, was actually the one who was sick with the psychological disorder Munchausen syndrome. No, yeah. no, you just—that's just something you did. You're just a, a disgusting. Wait, 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 Jeffrey, Epstein, Jeff, what, what was Jeffrey Epstein's psychological disorder? Right. <laughs> Munchausen by sex offending. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just did some weird shit. <laughs> Where a parent seeks attention through their child's made-up illnesses. I never, need, I never, I, never, I mean, this whole thing. Oh, but I wanted attention. That's not no, no, no. enough. Right. I don't care. Right. I would be a good judge. It also wasn't like, look, people who really have that disorder aren't always like the best at like monetizing it. Like, it's like, right. Yeah. You know, it's like she she did it so that she could like get money from. Charity. Yeah. Usually, like they're probably usually like rubbing like like seashells on the kid's face. Right. Like, it's got a sunburn. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I get called immediately. Right. But like this one's like, you know, no, if, if, if you manage to like raise millions of dollars, you, we don't, you know, you don't get the out. Yeah. But to be fair, did she get stabbed to death? So, I mean, I guess what, what am I complaining about? Right. <laughs> Your mother controlled so much. Mm-hmm. Many people just can't understand why you didn't just get up and walk out of that wheelchair. You weren't sick. <laughs> well, it's mental. It's emotional. We're, it's we're thinking she asked that question to a lot of uh, people, <laughs> not just her. Why don't you just get out of that wheelchair? <laughs> she, this woman has never met a person in a wheelchair who she didn't think was faking right. it. <laughs> 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 she's asking after you. Why don't you just get out? <laughs> She's You're embarrassed in the country. She, just goes, she goes to the VA on a regular basis yeah. and goes, why don't you walk it off? <laughs> I, wait, what are they called again? IED. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. IED, more like me, me, me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you got there. Good job, Lucy. <laughs> All these reasons combined together is what prevented me from just walking out of that situation. Give us a sense of you. You wait. You're out of jail. Just admit it. I wanted to kill her. Yeah. Just say it. Wouldn't you? She got to get caught. <laughs> she had to get caught. <laughs> she fucked around and she found out. <laughs> <laughs> Play stupid keys, win stupid prizes. <laughs> 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 I feared more than anything that if I ran away, that things would be worse for me at home. Gypsy becoming the mastermind in her mother's slaying after a lifetime of abuse. I actually didn't even want her to be killed. I just wanted out of my situation. And I thought that that was the only way out. So I think that there is this judgment on me that I killed my mom because I hated her, and that's not true. At age 23... I just didn't know where the keys were. (laughs) (laughs) 
She pled guilty for the role she played in her mother's brutal murder. Guilty. Stabbed 17 times by Gypsy's then boyfriend. Are they still together? Now, after nearly <laughs> nine. Wait, they broke up? Oh, uh, she, did she do that? Did she initiate that? The breakup? Yeah. I, I assume, yeah, her lawyers probably said, like, you need to break up with this guy. I mean, this guy helps you, you kill. Be, you can't be seen necking with this guy in the courtroom. Yeah, but I mean, he's now he's just like, you know, you, you, you got what you need out of this guy, and he's just there in some jail. Yeah. He's, look, he's like, he can't even be like, oh, she, she munchhausened me. <laughs> you just like, you found some girl on the internet some mun- and killed right. her mom. Like, and women wonder why chivalry is dead. Right. Seriously, honestly, yeah. like, it's, this is why, you know, you. you, you Match.com, I guess. <laughs> anyway, is that, is that uh, is there more to this? Or we... I'm sure there's more, but you know, but... I don't want. I don't want to live in this world anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Good job, Gypsy Rose. There's always more, Ray. <laughs> Good job, Gypsy Rose uh, Blanchard. Maybe she could be the new Kang. Mm. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. I mean, she's actually killed someone. And she should reference her mother's murder in the movie. Yeah, so. she say, I, I killed my mother and I'll kill you too. Well, I, I've seen every MCU movie. This is not what, what are we, are we going to like, are we going to have to make that documentary part of the MCU now? <laughs> like, 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 like wreck on it. Honestly. Oh man. That's a good idea. I, Thank I mean, you by the rights. This, is just, this episode is just filled with like free ideas for Marvel. Yeah. We're just giving away, you know, Hollywood, a lifeline. Yeah. Well, Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget, uh, we have a Patreon. We mentioned it before. Patreon.com slash rate comp. And you got just hundreds of hours on there every week going back a long time. So five bucks a month, you get that gimmick. And uh, not everything's about King the Conqueror. <laughs> just this episode. <laughs> uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for tuning in. And we'll uh, see you next week. This is the, the, the reboot. So we're back. Enjoy. We'll see you all soon. Have a great week.